Hi students, this is Mrs. Lopes. We're gonna go through the handbook really quick. Okay, this is going to be on Google Classroom for you to look at as well. On the front page, you have information. Here's the school phone number. Here's my Google Voice number. That's gonna go directly to my cell phone. You can call or text there. My email, a link to our website, and a link to the school website, all right? So here's a message to you and your parents from me. Uh, if you flip the pages, you'll see that there's another version in Spanish as well. I'll let you read that on your own. Okay, let's go to the grading policy. So first of all, I want you to all know it's my goal to reduce your anxiety about school as much as possible. Now, with that said, I do have real, uh, high standards for you because I know you guys are capable of so much, okay? And if you're ever having trouble with anything, you just let me know. You email me, you call me, all right? All of our assignments will be given um, through Google Classroom. So stay up to date on that. And we're gonna be using Zoom to have video meetings Tuesday through Friday with sectionals on Mondays. So class participation and preparedness and politeness, okay? This makes up the first part of your grade. It's worth over half, 55%. You see that down here? And it's super easy. All it means is that you show up and that you stay for the whole meeting and during the meeting that you are, see this word, engagement, that you're engaged. During um, the meeting, that means your cameras are on, that means you're typing in the chat, you're doing whatever we're doing. And finally, that you are showing respect to your friends and to me, okay? Just like we would be uh, showing each other kindness and respect face to face, we're gonna do it on the computer too. All right, the second part of your grade is play and practice. We're gonna be using smart music. It's a program to record yourself playing your instrument and to help you practice. It's really cool. We'll talk more about that later. That's worth 20% of your grade. And finally, there's the Google Classroom assignments. Uh, if you go to the classwork tab at the top on Google Classroom and you scroll down to trimester one assignments, you'll see all of them with the due dates and the descriptions. If you have any questions, you email me, you call me. All right, that's worth 25% of your grade. And finally, wear some school appropriate clothing. Check the handbook if you have any questions, you know, no pajamas. Um, we might have some dress up days, but anyway. All right, rules and guidelines, pretty straightforward. You guys, I'll let you read that on your own. Um, I do expect you to be logged on to the Zoom meeting by the time that we're supposed to start, okay? We'll have the first five minutes of class to get everybody um, taken attendance and all of that. And I will be communicating with you primarily through your student emails and Google Classroom. Always check Google Classroom, okay? Finally, most important thing right here is our band contract, our music instrument contract. So let's read it together. I understand that a school instrument is being loaned to me. I will care for it as if it is my own and any issues with the instrument will be reported to me, Mrs. Lopes, as soon as possible. Number two, I understand that in the event that the instrument is severely damaged, lost or stolen, I am responsible, you the student, are responsible for the cost of repair and or replacement. And that price is gonna be different depending on the different instruments, but we cross that bridge when we come to it. Bottom line, take care of your instrument. Do not leave it in a hot car because A, that can damage the instrument from the heat, B, someone can steal it uh, and keep it safe. Number three, I understand that participation in smart music assignments is required, yada, yada, yada. Smart music is taking the place of our performances right now. We're gonna, I'm gonna put all your recordings together into a virtual band, it'll be awesome. Finally, date it, sign it, get your parents to sign it, date it, make sure they read it as well, read through it with them. Get their parent email, not the student email, write your parents email and phone number. All right, and that's it.